I think this image came out nice. Let's talk about what was I thinking and how did I edit the image. Hi, it's Peter here and let's get right into the business. I was photographing inside the Helsinki railway station. I went there because it was a sunny weather and I knew that there will be a long, long shadows on the floor in the main area of the railway station because the big windows are facing south and so around noontime it will be perfect. And the good thing about here in the north is that we do get these long days when it's sunny and the sun is shining from a very low angle so we do get these long shadows and it lasts for the whole day so there's always these types of shadows everywhere in the city it's not just you know in the evening or late uh, or early in the morning or late at night it's all day and that's one good thing about you know living in the north and i was making this image because of the nice patterns of shadows on the uh, stairs and on the escalators and I was waiting for someone with a bright color jacket and I was lucky that this lady with the orange slash yellow jacket came up and there wasn't other people around. This is always something that is a bit of a luck. There could have been someone distracting the image with something but I was lucky there was nothing really distracting but while I was taking this image I saw a girl with a red sweatsuit walking. Here comes something that I've never thought I would say, but uh, this was possible because I used the LCD. And yes, I used the Ricoh, 3, uh, Ricoh GR3X on my uh, photo shoot on, during that day, and it doesn't have an EVF, which was one of the things that I was hesitating to getting it but it has turned out to be a really good thing because when I'm using the LCD I can see what's happening around and if I was just closing my eye the other eye and looking through the view viewfinder I would never see this happening and that's why I think LCDs can be sometimes a really good thing even though I prefer EVF and if I use EVF I always have the other eye open so that I can see what's going around and if something is going to enter the the view or the image that I'm making or if there's something else that's happening around the, the stuff that I'm actually looking at first. And I was lucky that the girl took the escalators so that I can grab the image where I was. And also the two guys that was following him made a nice uh, addition to the image and of course the thing was that I was looking at the sweatsuit and the color because it was striking out and to get that moment I had to be quick and in the editing part I will show you how I edited the image because of course the straight out of camera image looks totally different and then the composition was something that I wasn't able to make at the spot but one thing I could and was able to do is to crop the faces of these two guys at the top because I wanted to add some mystery to the image and I knew that I will crop them out in editing anyway so I cropped them out when I was photographing otherwise I did have to crop the image a bit because you know I wasn't able to get close enough big part of this image is the editing and after I've taken the shot I knew what I'm gonna do with it and how to edit it and what I did is made it more contrasty because I wanted to uh, make the viewer concentrate more on the girl on the red, uh, with the red sweatsuit and then take the uh, kind of like guide the viewer's eye to the two guys and back and forth and start thinking about the story what's going on here but I will talk about that after I show you small things about the editing as I said I wasn't not able to get close enough so I cropped the image quite heavily and it's not a problem nowadays, I think, because we can upscale the image with AI. Topaz Photo AI, for example, is a very good for that. And I do have a uh, video about another image that I had the similar problem that I wasn't close enough, but I still wanted to make the image. And on that one, I used Topaz Photo AI. On this one, I haven't used it yet because there's no need to upscale it. I can use this low res version on online anyways. If I use it on a print, someday I will upscale it with photo AI so that's not a problem and I think it's not a problem to crop an image even 
if you're doing straight photographs, if the image gets better with cropping and sometimes you're not close enough then just you know grab the image and and think about the cropping later but the thing is that you have to pre-visualize what the image will be and the things that i did i would added contrast so that the background will be as black as possible and since i had the uh, girl at the uh, spotlight where the sun is or the sunlight is I had to lower it a little bit, the highlights and also the highlights on the on the stairs. And I also made the colors a bit warmer, so I added or made the white balance a lot warmer in this image, so it would be more uh, warmth and better. And visually, it looks better this way than without the warming up the highlights. And usually, warming up the shadows make an image more pleasant. But what about the story in an image? Yes, that's very important. And, you know, we all have different stories. When we see an image, we start thinking a bit different things. And if it's the same thing as the photographer intended, fine. If it's not, it's still fine if you enjoy the image and build up your own story because that will boost up your own creativity. And that's what I always try to find in an image is a story. Why and what is happening? And on this one, the story is more about the the relationship between the uh, girl and the guys or that one guy that is in front of the other one what are their relationship it's a bit sinister in a way because of the the leather jacket and, and the, the whole setup here it, and you know but still this might, might not be the story but that's what i see that there is some kind of a tension between these even though i don't know if that's that's the case what do you see in in this image what what's your story and do you like this image? I hope you have enjoyed this video and this is something that I will make more in the future. If I get an image that I like or there's something to discuss more deeply, then I will make an, Im uh, an image and video like this. And please let us know in the comments down below what do you think. Is this something that you might want to watch some more? And here is the video about the other image that I was talking about earlier when I, where I used to talk about photo AI. You might want to watch that next because it, it is a slightly similar a story about how to edit an image and why I took it and what did I see in the image. But hey, thanks for watching and bye for now.